he designed for the rich and famous services are on standby across our region tonight after the first snowfall of winter. As the snow turns to freezing rain this evening, drivers are being warned that roads could be treacherous. Our reporters and camera crews have been checking conditions across the calendar area. Gail Mellers has this report. It started early this morning on the south coast and eventually arrived in the calendar region this afternoon. At Leeds Age Concern meeting place today, hot food and advice was on offer. And tonight, as temperatures fall below zero, elderly people are being urged to do their best to keep warm. Older people should make sure that they are well dressed, that they've got plenty of layers of warm clothing, that they take regular warm drinks, uh, even take a flask to bed with you at night. Weather forecasters are predicting heavy rain tonight with strong winds and rain expected tomorrow morning and drivers are being asked to take extra care. In the morning they need to think about getting up a little bit earlier, make sure that they clear all the snow and ice off their windscreens, off the windows of the car, um, perhaps take the uh, main routes to, routes to actually get to work, um, stick to the level roads um, and allow themselves a little bit of extra time. The worst hit areas today have been Sheffield, Leeds and Lincolnshire where it was still coming down during the rush hour as motorists made their way home. Elsewhere in our region efforts were being made to cope with the conditions. Gritters were out in Grimsby and in Hull high winds meant the Humber Bridge was out of bounds to lorries. Villagers in North Yorkshire are in mourning tonight after a vicar and his 17-year-old daughter were killed in a road accident. The Reverend Barry Williams was giving his daughter Stephanie a driving lesson when their car was in collision with a lorry. Twelve parishes around Moulton are in mourning. The Reverend Barry Williams, as vicar of Rillington and rural dean of Buckrose, looked after them all. He was in the front seat of this small family car being driven home by his daughter Stephanie. She'd started taking driving lessons only recently after her 17th birthday. They were pulling out of a side road onto the A64, the Yeddingham Junction, when they were hit by a lorry loaded with 20 tonnes of steel. Mr Williams, who leaves a wife and another daughter, had been a governor of Norton College in Moulton, where Stephanie was a pupil until recently. She'd just won a place at medical school. Well, it is a terrible tragedy. Barry Williams worked tremendously hard for the school. He understood the area, the children and the parents and he was a kind and considerate man and a wise man and Stephanie was a, a model student, uh, a very able young lady. The Archbishop of York said in a statement he is devastated by the tragedy saying he was doing all he could to help the family in deep shock. Peter Holland reporting from North Yorkshire. Campaigners fighting against pit closures claim this Christmas could be the coal industry's last. The Coalfield Communities campaign handed in a giant Christmas card at Westminster this morning. They say the current crisis could mean the end for all the remaining collieries unless the government takes more direct action. It comes as reports suggest the government is on the verge of clamping down on open cast operations. We've an extra three months. The contracts now in, uh, appear as though they're going to go to the 30th of June. The redundancy terms also go to the 30th of June. But that breathing space allows us now to look at how we might fit coal into the energy economy so that it does have a lasting future. Football finally and Emily are through to the third round of the FA Cup after beating Lincoln 4-3 on penalties in a thrilling replay at the McAlpine Stadium. Emily's hopes of FA Cup glory look doomed as they trail 2-0 with just 15 minutes to go. But Daniel Graham threw them a lifeline and the match ended 3-3 after extra time. Emily now meet Premiership side West Ham in the third round. Also through a Scunthorpe who beat Ilkeston Town 2-1. And that's all for tonight. We're back tomorrow morning at 6.15. For now, have a very good night. Supplying gas and electricity. Yorkshire Electricity. Sponsors of the YTV Weather. Hello, good evening. Well, a real taste of winter this evening across our region. Some pretty heavy snow around in Pennine areas and coupled with some strong to gale force easterly winds have given some pretty atrocious conditions up on the tops there. Now, you either love snow or you hate it. If you dislike it, then it's good news because things are getting milder from now on. And as we head towards the weekend, temperatures should gradually creep above average. But first of all, let's take a look at today's weather chart and we can see where the cold air came from. It came from Eastern Europe and Russia uh, coming in on those 
those strong easterly winds but it's to the south that we look for the next few days as some milder conditions move up from the south and those frontal systems will give a further spell of rain I'm afraid later tonight and into tomorrow. Now on the satellite picture there's the band of cloud which moved up from the south today bringing that rain, sleet and snow and further southwest there's another band of cloud moving towards us all the time. So this evening then, well there's still further sleet and snow around, more especially over North Yorkshire and up towards the Dales there. That will gradually edge its way north as we go through tonight, tending to fare up. But right at the end of the night there'll be that thicker cloud and some further rain moving into the extreme south of the region. Becoming very misty and up on the tops on Transpennine routes, fairly foggy as well. Temperatures will gradually creep up as the night goes on, typically 3 degrees Celsius is 37 Fahrenheit. Now then, the sun rises in the morning at 8.18 and sets tomorrow evening at 3.48. Tomorrow it's a fairly cloudy day, it must be said. There'll be a spell of rain moving in from the southwest. That'll slowly work its way northeastwards, tending to fare up in the south of the region, perhaps in Pennine areas, with that rain always hanging around over north and east Yorkshire. Temperatures are really going to struggle tomorrow, eventually getting up to 8 Celsius tomorrow evening. There we go then, stay warm if you can. I wish you good night. Here's tomorrow's summary. Christmas, the perfect time for a good film. And guess who's home alone again? Come on! This time he's lost in New York. Yes! John Travolta gets the Christmas spirit in Look Who's Talking Now. In Oscar Wilde's The Canterville Ghost, A Haunting Dilemma. And in Steven Spielberg's sci-fi classic, A Close Encounter of the Third Kind. Staying reluctantly forever young is Mel Gibson. And Kevin Costner stars as a man the Indians called Dances with Wolves. The brightest stars, the biggest movies, Christmas on Yorkshire. Now, the conclusion to tonight's movie starring Clint Eastwood and Gene Hackman, Unforgiven.